Are you here for a purpose? Yes. Does it matter that you're inside today rather than outside today? No. So what do we have to do today? Okay. What we have to do today is make sure we all have the same message. My message to you is the same message that I gave CAP members last night. You can take no more excuses. No more excuses about why this legislation is not being passed. Last year, we should have had vacation handling. Last year. Are we happy that we have it this year? Absolutely. Was, was it an innovative and a creative way to get that language inserted into the executive budget? Absolutely. We're very happy about that. But things are taking too long. People are dying, and nurses are getting injured and burnt out. Yes, Families are crying.
great pride, as each of you do. But it isn't just today, it's all year that the wars must be monitored, governed. We must gather together and articulate appropriately with the strength and voice that we have. We have the privilege of having each of us together today. That's not easy. And that is a tribute to the committee who do the planning, who works together regularly on behalf of the big picture and the big picture is in which you and you came in here today with. The big picture is about making a difference for healthcare and knowing this, labor in this town has to be loud, it has to be clear. That's the only way change happens. And that's a credit to each and every one of you. And as we close, we are waiting for one or two more individuals. Obviously there's hearings, scheduling challenges, but each of you needs to tell us how, how valuable this journey is, how important it is that they can no longer go through pages that are meaningless. Because the people on the front lines are right here. The people who know the impact of the words of the laws are sitting here. And so when it's nonsense, let's show them why. And when it's sensible, let's deal with that. And at the end of the day, what we're seeking matters in a gigantic system that deals with profits, not people, not those individuals who are cookie cutter, identical beings, the same in each case. The advocacy for each person comes from you. And every time we're forced to move the assembly line of life with a profit and take another patient or in home care, see another person, we must identify the humanity in the journey. That's what we champion loudest and clear. So wherever you practice, whether that is in a nursing home, a school, an acute care setting, all of us understand the role we play. We do not have an opportunity to do over mistakes. We cannot correct what occurs with short staffing. We cannot fix the problems unless we have the tools. That's what we're here to say. We've made incredible progress together through all these wonderful leaders who've addressed each of us today and we recognize this is the next hurdle. So each of you use very clear examples of why these issues are damning and damaging. Each of you make your voice heard. And thank you to each of you, and certainly I'd be remiss not to thank Nancy in the back, Nancy Wolf, who makes this work every time. that says we have to find common ground to collaborate and move forward. And we know this, we should be able to explain what our need is. When you explain what the need is and why it matters, no one can stop you because we're right. Thank you so much, each one of you, for your voice and power, and let's go do this, okay? Good work.